Welcome back. Over the years, we've all heard things like eating carrots is going to improve your vision or sitting too close to the TV is bad for your eyes. But the question <laughs> is, how much truth is there to any of these beliefs? Okay, so lucky for us, our next guest is going to set the record straight on the best and the worst habits for our eyesight. So please welcome to the show, Doctor of Optometry, Ritesh Patel. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Okay, so it is time to put our eye health knowledge to the test. We have our paddles. Audience, you have your paddles? Yeah, you have your okay. Here's our first common belief. Screens of any kind, from TV screens to phone screens, are bad for your eyes. True or false? Oh. <laughs> I love how, like, I'm yeah, just, just for the sake of it. Just it for is, the sake of it. It is a hard true. It is oh. a hard true. No, the only time it's false is when you watch the social. Then it's yeah, okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but actually, what the issue is is that there actually is something called blue UV light that's emitted from uh, all sorts of screens: your phone, your tablet, your watch. Uh, these lights and this type of light, although controversial, has been shown to cause quite a bit of yeah. damage uh, to the back of your eye, called the retina, and also disrupt your sleep patterns. So, bad for pretty much every reason possible. So for us. We typically suggest avoid uh, screen time, especially before you go to bed. And if you have to, hold it uh, or keep it as far away as possible. What about possible. those blue light glasses? Definitely a great thing. Great, yes, the great, more you great. filter out. There. Yeah, there it is. Found a solution. I yeah, found a I solution. It. I love it. Okay. I love it. Oh my God. Like okay, true or false? Reading a book or looking at an electronic device up close can have negative effects on your vision. True or false? Yeah. I don't know. I think you're going to be false on all of them, right? It's true. It's true. true. Um, so what? the reality would be is, of course, the blue UV light, especially when you're looking at something up close, definitely not good for your eyes at any point in time. But when you are looking at a book, what's going to happen is it's going to put fatigue and strain on your eyes. It's going to make your eyes a bit more nearsighted than you want them to be. Uh -huh. um, so we always recommend something called 20-20-20. Super easy to remember when it comes to your eyes. Uh, every 20 minutes, give your eyes a 20-second break. Look 20 feet away. It's going to let your eyes relax oh. a little bit. Let them, uh, let them it's like bicep curls for your eyes. Oh my God. I love that. That's it, right? That's Super hard. easy to remember. Nice. Okay. Okay. So 20 minutes goes by fast. It does. does. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if you're so, here's the next one. If you're someone who wears glasses or contacts, wearing them consistently will weaken your eyes. Is this true or false? False. Yeah, I think that's false. That is false. And actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is by far the number one question I get from my patients in my practice uh, because there's always a concern. If I like biceps, can I make them stronger by simply put seeing blurry all day? Yeah. Uh, and if we took two versions of you, one person that uh, the one version that wore contacts and glasses all day every day for ten years, and one that didn't at all, and we we measured you again, you'd be at the exact same spot. Right. Right. Oh. Okay. Now what's really cool? They actually have something called myopia lenses that are in glasses and contact lenses that you can wear that actually act, act like braces for your eyes. So they actually can slow down how much your prescription is actually changing. Uh, and this Ooh. is new. This was not something that was around when I was a Myopia kid. Myopia lenses? Myopia lenses. That's it. All right. Len contact lenses? So they come in contacts and glasses. Wow. Right? Wow. And uh, you can sleep in them overnight or wear them during the day with your uh, as glasses. And it slows Freshly things down. Freshly invented. Hot That's tip. It. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You heard it here first, people. Okay. So next, spending time outdoors helps your eyesight. What do we think? True or false? I, I want it to be true so bad. Yeah. I want it yeah. to be true. Yeah. T correct. True. Oh! True. That's it, right? So this will not reverse your prescription by any means, but what we do know, especially for uh, those that have children, is 90 minutes of outdoor time per day uh, actually helps reduce the progression of prescription. Right? Okay. Uh, so 50% of the world is actually myopic. Uh, and that means you can see up close and far away is blurry. But what happens with that, it actually leads to a lot of uh, conditions like glaucoma and cataracts and macular degeneration. These are things that can rob you of your vision. So the more we reduce that prescription, spending time outside, blocking blue UV, the better it is for your eyes. But is it about nature or is it just because if you're outside, you're not going like this on your screen? A little bit of both. A little okay. bit of both for sure, right? Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the further out you kind of defocus your eyes, the better it okay. is. Okay. Okay. okay so uh, I feel like everyone in this audience had a mother or a grandmother who gave this advice, which is eating carrots can improve your vision. Is it true or false? It's true. It's true. <laughs> it has to be true. It's gotta be vitamin A. It yes. has to be true. It's gotta be. False. I know. I know. This was a stumper. Everyone's mother had said, hey, eat your carrots. It will. Trust me, I'm going to a lot of therapy for this one. <laughs> 
I am blind without these glasses. So uh, the idea here is that carrots do have something called beta carotene. And beta carotene is very healthy for your eyes. Uh, it actually helps protect parts of your eyes called the retina, being specifically. Okay. And it helps kind of limit things like dry eye as well but it will not make your prescription get better or make it go away. So, okay. you know, it's good to protect the eyes uh, with certain vitamins, uh, but sorry, guys. Yeah. Wow, carrots now in the bad book. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is the last one, everybody. Worsening eyesight is an inevitable part of aging. False. All right, I'm, I love this. This is correct. It is false. Yes! 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 yes. Nailed it, nailed it. I know, I know. in our aging, Cynthia. That's it, that's I'm it. blown away. Go, explain why. why. Why do we all think that this is true? You know, I tell my patients from day one, the first time I meet you until you're hopefully well past 100, my job is to keep your eyes healthy, seeing well. And, you know, there's conditions that can happen along the way. But as optometrists, our job is to be able to catch things as early as possible, uh, ensure that you have a healthy lifestyle with some of the tips we heard here today. As long as you have your eyes, eyes examined yearly and comprehensively, there's no reason that you should actually lose your, your vision. Okay. So eat healthy, live a, a balanced lifestyle, and you should be fantastic for the rest of your life. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're so helpful. We love getting your expert advice today. And for the rest of you at home, please don't go anywhere because we will be right back. That is true. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.